You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Well, welcome back to BBN Tonight. Starting on Monday, I'm going to have a brand new co-host with me here on the show. And in order to get you ready for that, we're going to introduce you to Anna Terulo. And Anna, welcome Hello, into BBN Kate. Tonight. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. So, all right, let's start with the big question. Louisville native, how uh -huh. did you stay away from the other team? Uh, and how did you become a UK fan? It was hard. So, you know... Grew up in Louisville. My dad is a Louisville grad and went to probably more U of L games growing up than Kentucky. And I think my dad just kind of gave us the opportunity to pick. Okay, so I went to my first game at Rep Arena and was just blown away. The guys in the blue jackets. And then when you hear the winningest program in college basketball, it's kind of hard not to choose that. I just love the history about it. I love how it's um, it's so on the national radar. I think I was proud. It made me even more proud to be from Kentucky to rep a program like that. So since I was little, cats all the way. <laughs> all right, so, but you do, have, you know in Louisville, there's probably some of those other fans yeah. in the family tree somewhere. Yeah, yeah, maybe my brother or my dad, but we forgive them. <laughs> especially once, you know, when we beat them, it, that's especially nice to have somebody close to rub it in. <laughs> all right, so you mentioned the game. What, what was that like going to that first game? What, oh can, what do you remember about it that just was... Yeah. Like, this is the place? I remember my eyes watered. I felt, I was like probably 11 or 12, and I was like, I'm in a cathedral of sports. I'm like, heaven has to be like Rep Arena. They play Bittersweet Symphony, and just, it's hard not to get goosebumps. And maybe I'm just a sucker for tradition, but there was something about that. Uh, I think even until up in college, I would always say there's no other place I would rather be in the world than Rupp Arena. Because, I don't know, everyone's there cheering for the same thing, and um, everyone's on the same page. I don't know, I love it. Um, some of the m moments in your life that you've watched, covered Kentucky, what, mm -hmm. is, what are some of those that stand mm -hmm. out to you? Well, let's see here. I think my favorite had to be once I was in college. I was doing some stuff for CBS Sports, just production assistant stuff. And uh, me and my dad, we always went to Final Fours all the time. I've probably been to about 20. So that mm. was our thing. So it was my dream to work one. I found out I was working it. Now, this is the Aaron Harrison year where Kentucky's like an eight seat. So I didn't, I wasn't, we, no one really thought they were going to get there, okay? So then last minute shot, last minute shot, Michigan, Louisville. Um, to get to the Final Four, I think that was probably my favorite moment as a Kentucky fan, beating Louisville and getting to the Final Four, knowing I was already working it, to be there with that team. And then I worked the following year, too, um, and that was just a blast. I was at UGA, and it was the Carl Anthony Towns, Willie Colley Stein year, and for that team to come in undefeated, oh, my God, talk about being proud of being a Kentucky fan. Everybody knew me as a Kentucky fan. I was, like, nervous when they got to town. I was like, we got to win, guys. It's my name on the line. But uh, Bill Belichick was at that UGA Kentucky game, Charles Barkley. So just the buzz around that program at a completely different SEC school was so cool and made me so proud. So you come from West Virginia where you've mm -hmm. been working recently. Right. But the thing I love is that that whole time you were up there, you did your job. Yeah. But at the same time, you're oh, still tweeting. I was and, cats all the way. Yeah. And it's hard to shy away from that. You know, I know you don't always want to be a homer on Twitter. But, you know, if you're not on the clock and you're watching your team, it's hard not to do that. And I really lucked out there, too. We had a lot of Kentucky fans in our coverage area. So they didn't look at me like I was an anomaly or like <laughs> I was crazy. But, uh, yeah, so that was just so fun. Twitter's my favorite part. Uh, of this job, just interacting with people, you know? And I think there's no other fan base like Big Blue Nation, truly. Even when I was in West Virginia, I think I had the most interaction with Kentucky fans on Twitter because we're proud. We're proud to be there. <laughs> So BBN tonight still kind of new, yeah. Uh, but it's it's making waves. So what yeah. what does it mean to you to be a part of BBN oh, tonight? Man. It means so much just from a personal standpoint standpoint of being close to the program that ignited my love for sports and such a storied program, such a historic program. There's so much going on and so much to be proud of. But I think my favorite part is you know I'm coming home, so I'm from Louisville. Yeah. But this is content that everybody who I grew up with, everybody from back home cares about and wants to know. And it's fun even, you know, talking with my parents or my friends. Um, they're so much more interested in what I'm doing because, the, you know, they care about the content. And that's so fun to bring that to people and be a part of something bigger than you. All right, so um, the, the content you talked about, we're getting, you get a chance now to talk to some yeah. of these coaches and players. Yes. I'm one so on excited. One. And I know this is so funny. 
So I'm Italian, both my parents are Italian. <laughs> And my dad, we have this ongoing family joke. He reminds us so much of John Calipari. They have the same facial expressions. They're both really animated and expressive. So, oh my gosh, one day if I could get those two in the same room together and just, oh my gosh, would be like looking in a mirror. I wouldn't know who was who. So I'm just excited about that. And um, just the whole program, at West Virginia, you know, we covered a lot of Kentucky stuff. So I had the opportunity to work with some of the football SIDs and uh, just their professionalism in an organization. You don't find that every year. Mm. I mean, everywhere. And uh, so I'm excited about that. You know, I think they really care about their student athletes. All gets started on Monday. Yeah, Can't wait so uh, on Monday for BBN Tonight. Uh, thanks for joining us and uh, more BBN Tonight after this.